Namaste and welcome to week four of your Living Yoga Beginners program. This week is Warrior Week where we introduce the three power postures of the Virabhadra Kriya or Warrior Flow so that you can access increased levels of inner strength, stamina, confidence and self-belief. To add to this, we will also be completing the double breathing process that you started all the way back in week one of the course. So now for the six keys to living yoga in Sanskrit and English. Away we go. Virya, enthusiasm. Titiksha, perseverance. Viveka, discernment. Shraddha, unshakable faith. Parakrama, courage. Sangha, inspiring company. We're now ready for the complete double breathing process, stages one to four. So you can now take the posture of your choice, seated or reclined. Okay, ready for stage one double breathing in the abdomen, 10 times, away we go. Final breath. Now taking a slow, deep Ujjayi inhale, filling yourself to the brim. Hold your breath for a couple of seconds. And now take an R breath exhale, progressively softening the body, feeling the crossover from breath into breathlessness. Turn your mind inside and experience dynamic stillness. Now in stage two of double breathing, the breath moves from the abdomen to the chest. 10 breaths, away we go. Final breath. Now taking a slow, deep Ujjayi inhale, filling yourself to the brim. Hold your breath for a couple of seconds. And now take an R breath exhale, progressively softening the body, feeling the crossover from breath into breathlessness. Turn your mind inside and experience dynamic stillness. In stage three of double breathing, we breathe entirely in the chest, 10 times, away we go. Final breath. Now taking a slow, deep Ujjayi inhale, filling yourself to the brim. Hold your breath for a couple of seconds. 
and now take an R breath exhale, progressively softening the body, feeling the crossover from breath into breathlessness. Turn your mind inside and experience dynamic stillness. Stage four of double breathing combines all the three previous stages together into one 30 breath breathing exercise. This is a powerful practice, so be sure to pace yourself and practice your breathing at the right intensity for you. We start with the 10 breaths in the abdomen. I will call the switches. Away we go. to the brim, hold your breath for a couple of seconds, and now take an R breath exhale, progressively softening the body, feeling the crossover from breath into breathlessness, turn your mind inside and connect to dynamic stillness for one minute. in your body. Feel your energy. And don't breathe until you have to. dynamic stillness is now complete. You can take an UJ inhale, filling the body to the brim and holding the breath in for 12 empowering seconds. It's an R breath exhale, releasing through the body and returning to stillness. Your practice of double breathing is now complete and you are fully empowered to move through into your asana practice. So you can slowly raise yourself up into a standing posture. Our asana practice this week in this short flow video will consist of one round of the Surya Kriya to warm and prepare the body and mind, followed by our new group of postures, the Virabhadra Kriya or Warrior Flow. So we begin in Tadasana, the mountain pose, 
ready to enter the Surya Kriya. You can now take a new Jai inhale, breathing life into the body, and a new Jai exhale, breathing the body out into life. When you hear the wood block, that's your cue to begin. Inhaling to fly up into Udvatadasana. Exhaling, swan diving, Uttanasana. Ready for the step back. Inhaling, Eka Padasana. The sweep. Exhaling, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Now harnessing the inhale to hover forward into Palakasana. To offer the eight points to the ground with the exhale, Ashtangasana. Short scoop with the inhale into Bhujangasana. To sweep back on the exhale, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. This gives us some momentum with the inhale to step the right foot forward, Ekapadasana. And to bow, Uttanasana. Inhale to fly up, Udvatadasana, and the exhale to return to the mighty Tadasana, ready for the left side of the body, inhaling Udvatadasana, exhaling Uttanasana, inhaling Eka Padasana. Exhaling to Ardo Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling to Palakasana. Exhaling Ashtangasana. Inhaling to Bhujangasana. Exhaling Ardo Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling, Ekapadasana. Exhaling, to Uttanasana. Inhaling, Udvatadasana. And exhale to return to Tadasana, the mountain pose, ready to link into the Virabhadra Kriya, the warrior flow. It's an inhale to turn side onto the mat. Exhale to drop springboards into the legs so that we can inhale to step the feet wide apart into the warrior stance. The exhale will turn the feet to the right, the left hand will come to hip, and we're now ready to reach out into the inhale, extending through the right arm, hinging the right hip, and the exhale to land our triangle comfortably. Now for the three building breaths. First inhale to firm into the legs. The exhale then softens the legs and grounds through the feet. Ready for the second inhale to draw up through the legs. Open the chest, rolling the left shoulder back. And the exhale again softens the body, sending the energy back to the feet. Third inhale draws energy to legs opens the chest and sends the left arm skyward gazing to the thumb. Now we have three pulses to fulfill our Utita Trikonasana. Each exhalation softens the body, releases tension so that the next inhale can expand and open the body all the way out to the peripheries of the fingers and toes. One more pulse here now in Utita Trikonasana. As you take this final exhale, bend into your front knee a little, ground down, and then use that to inhale to come up to center. And the exhale to turn the feet to the left, bringing right hand to right hip. Ready to reach out, inhaling, hinging the left hip and the exhale to land your triangle on the good side of the edge. Ready for your three building breaths. First inhale, to 
firm and strengthen the legs. Exhale, then gives way, softening the legs, grounding the feet. Second inhale comes up through the legs, opens the chest and rolls the right shoulder back. Exhale again, softens. And this will allow you to take a third inhale into the legs, opening the chest and sending the right arm skyward. Now connecting with the three pulses to fulfill your Utita Trikonasana. Expanding and opening into the inhales, releasing and surrendering through the exhales. you can use your exhalation to slide your left hand a little lower down your leading leg. Here's our final pulse now. To fulfill our triangle pose, use the exhale to soften the front leg, ground through the feet, ready to sweep up the center with the inhale, ready to link to bowing triangle. Square the feet and use your exhale to bring your hands to your lower back as you bend your knees. Ready to syringe the inhalation up through the legs, fill out the chest, back bend if you wish, and the exhale to bow into Prasalita Padottanasana. Now connecting up with the pole section, bending the knees on the inhale, hinging the hips, lifting the heart, and then using the exhale to offer yourself into the bow. patiently, free from force, using the pulse method to open the posture up. to our final pulse here in Prasarita Padottanasana, the bowing triangle, exhaling into the bow, ready to transition to warrior two. So it's an inhale to launch up, raising the arms above the head and the exhale to turn the feet to the right as you lunge into the right leg. Okay, now pulse action, draw back up and in as you breathe in and then use the exhale to slowly sink into the lunge and warrior two. Keep the back leg strong and straight, the spine vertical, and on the end of the exhale, just ensure that your arms are parallel to the ground. We have a final pulse now in warrior two. Ready to transition to the other side. It's an inhale to come to center, arms raise. Feet now turn to the left and the exhale sinks into left leg lunge. The pulse action, straining into the front leg as much as you need as you breathe in. And then the exhale takes you into the lunge. Have a feeling that the whole body is pulsing, receiving the inhale and releasing through the exhale. We have one more pulse. We're now ready to complete our Virabhadra Kriya. It's an inhale to lift to center, arms raising. And the exhale to make the step back to Tadasana to complete the Virabhadra Kriya and the Asana practice for this session. So you can now lay yourself down in Shavasana for the Shava Kriya to absorb the benefits of your Asana practice. We utilize the same two techniques in the Shava Kriya, double breathing followed by the 61 point body rotation in order to renew, restore and rejuvenate our body and mind at the end of our practice. 
Remember the double breathing is done in three stages, five breaths in the belly, five belly to chest, and five in the chest. Away we go. Switch. And switch. Final breath, and now taking an Ujjayi inhale, filling up to your brim, holding the breath for a couple of seconds, and now taking an ah breath exhale, and releasing as much tension from your body as you can at this time. Coming through to dynamic stillness, for the practice of the 61 point body rotation. Begin by bringing your attention to the third eye. Now shift attention to the pit of the throat. Now the right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, right thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder, pit of throat. Now feel your left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder, pit of throat, now feel your sternum, right chest, sternum, left chest, sternum, navel, pubic bone, feel your right hip, right knee, right ankle, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe, right ankle, right knee, right hip, pubic bone, now feel your left hip, left knee, left ankle, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe, left ankle, left knee, left hip, pubic bone, navel, sternum, pit of throat, third eye. Now feel your whole body, feel your whole body completely relaxed whole body. Your practice of the Shabha Kriya is now complete. You can continue to lie down and absorb the benefits of your practice for as long as you wish. But for now, congratulations on completing another Living Yoga home session. Remember the energy of your practice will be building and accumulating day by day. So keep up the amazing work. Namaste.